Thank you. Good evening, everyone. What a thrill it is to be here. On behalf of the Board of Directors of the Film Society of Lincoln Center and all the wonderful staff, it is my huge pleasure to welcome you tonight to our 25th anniversary screening and great celebration of Disney's glorious masterpiece, Beauty and the Beast. The film was directed by Gary Truesdale and Kirk Weiss and produced by Don Hahn and released in 1991. We presented it at the 29th New York Film Festival right here in Alice Tully Hall. What made the evening that night so, so unusual and so memorable was the fact that we showed it as a work in progress. Approximately a third of the film was unfinished shown in storyboard art and black and white animation tests. I remember the evening so vividly because while learning about and appreciating, admiring the, the talents of the animation, we, the narrative thread and the emotional impact never broke. The, um, there was an ecstatic outburst at the end of the evening, but actually, in fact, I remember many outbursts all through the screening, and it wasn't applause, it was roars of happiness. It was really quite fabulous. This year, <clears throat> I'm pleased to say, we have the original voice cast members, Robbie Benson, Paige O'Hara, Angela Lansbury, and, and Richard White together the voice of Mrs. Potts, Angela Lansbury. Um, hi, everybody. It's pretty astounding because 25 years ago, almost tonight, I stood right here and introduced the film, and we thought, what a horrible idea, showing an unfinished version <laughs> of this movie before it had been opened. But the the reaction was um, humbling and unbelievable, and the ovations were like people were watching a live Broadway show. And it started in this theater, right here on this wow. screen. And so much of the love of that movie began in a night here, so it's great to be back here. Um, uh, it truly has changed my life, you know, and it's, uh, it's enabled me to be able to do globally uh, not only concert work, but charity work. And, uh, I'm constantly meeting wonderful people and fans that come up and hug me and kiss me and, oh, Belle, Belle, you changed my life. And thank God for a, a heroine that's just like me. I'm a geek, too. And, you know, it's so funny that, that she was really the first <clears throat> revolutionary woman of Disney heroines. Every year, uh, there's a new, <laughs> there's a new uh, crop of, uh, of, of people who come along and then uh, very shortly thereafter that fall in love with this film. That, it's, it's, it's an amazing thing to be a part of. Yeah. Uh, I think going into the process, we had a notion that we were part of a classic and, and that, that it would be seen by uh, succeeding generations. But uh, to see it realized and to be here 25 years later with friends and people that we love and care about sharing this moment. It, it, it's, it's a remarkable feeling, it really is. I don't know uh, where else you find this particular kind of a thing. Now, when I think of the history of this film and the young children who fell in love with it as little toddlers and grew up and still continue to watch it and tell me about it, it's so interesting. They will tell me about scenes in the film as if I hadn't been anywhere near. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's the wonderful observance of children. They see things that we're not even aware of half the time. And that's what makes it so interesting and fulfilling. Miss Lansbury, who I idolized and have my whole life, uh, came in after being up all night long and uh, having traveled. And, and they said, why don't you wait and we'll record, record you later. And you came in. <laughs> and like a trooper, and we were all worried that she might be too exhausted, and she comes out and sings Beauty and the Beast in one take. <laughs> and there wasn't a dry eye in the house. We made it just in time, and I think it was the excitement and the, the sense of, got to do it now. Yes, you know, Taylor's oldest time. You know, we had to get it on. <laughs> yes, it's true. It's true. It worked. <laughs> the, the feeling that right now that's on this stage, which is very much in the movie, and it's just a feeling of love and for all the great artists that, that made this film. 